for those that want to go to the next level in life. I'm going to lay out three things for you today. And if you align every thought, every word you speak, and every action you take with these three, then greatness will be yours. Number one, the foundation of greatness must be built on fire. Now when I say fire, I'm referring to passion. Success is just a child, the offspring produced from a person who has married doing the thing they love. If you want greatness, then you gotta pick your profession like you would a soulmate. You gotta marry the one that makes you feel the most alive. Pursuing your passion is the cure for amnesia. It will awaken your spirit and reveal to you your true identity. See, most people are walking around in this nine to five job coma with spiritual amnesia. They have forgotten who they are. Pursuing the flame, the fire, the passion of doing what you love is the alarm clock for your spirit. It will awaken you back to your true identity who God made you to be. Some seek a job. Some seek a product to sell. But the greats, the legends, the people that go to that next level in life, they seek themselves. Close your eyes and look inside and follow the flames that flicker until you find your way back home. The fire created when doing your passion is a gift from God. That's why there's so much power in it. Stop making your decisions based on money. And make your decision based on fire. Set yourself on fire and the world will come see you burn. It's so rare today to see a person doing what he loves. Most people are not bold enough, not brave enough to step into that fire, to that ring and just believe. We are living in a spiritual ice age. Strike your backs and set yourself on fire on the inside. Ignite that greatness and the whole world will gather around you for warmth. Ferdinand Fush said the most powerful weapon on earth is the human soul on fire. Now I ask you, what are you most passionate about? What sets you on fire on the inside? Romance was not just designed for our spouse. Get alone with yourself. Explore intimacy with the things that you love. Connect to yourself and what God has placed in you. Success requires focus, energy, intensity, zeal, enthusiasm, love, fire, charisma, heat, passion, intensity, dedication. Dive into your passion and the world will illumine with fire. When you move to the center of your passion, the world will begin to make sense. Positive thinking is powerful. But you cannot think your way to greatness. You have to burn yourself there. Now the second element that you need to filter your life through if you want to achieve greatness is truth. Now John 4.24 says, God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Truth is the couture for greatness. If you want to go to that next level, you got to get up every day and drape yourself down in it. Truth can only be understood fully from the center of one's colon. See, the fire produced from doing your passion brings clarity just as the choir sings. May your life harmonize with nothing but truth, authenticity, originality, realness. You already have everything inside of you needed to produce the type of life that you desire. All you have to do is to dive deep into your own truth. The truth that God put in you. All the power you need to open the door to attract opportunity lies in that space. Your freedom, your liberation, your emancipation can only come by way of truth. The truth and only the truth shall set you free. Passion is an inexhaustible appetite to express to the world what one is. Now listen to me. Those who chase trends instead of pursuing their own truth disqualify themselves from greatness. Different is beautiful. The greats don't try to fit in. They do everything in their power to stick out, to do themselves. The moment I stop trying to get acceptance from the world is the moment my life began to change. I learned the hard way that those who don't respect truth will choke on the lies and illusions of life. Surround yourself with people who cannot breathe without your truth. See, that's the winning formula. You want winning relationships, a winning team, a winning staff, a winning organization, put together as many people as possible together who cannot breathe without truth. Self-awareness is being able to see oneself accurately without the distortions 
of the world. And when you align with truth, you become unstoppable. Truth is the key that unlocks the world. The temporary sting of truth is better than a lifetime of comfort born out of lies. When you need approval, you become a slave to those who give applause. Just like the bugs at night seek the light, success seeks those on fire with passion and truth. Greatness has a strict dress code for all those wishing to enter, and that required attire is truth. Drape yourself down in it, and you will always be welcome. And I say it again, you are enough. Peace and serenity eludes those who seek the approval of others. The only place they can be found is in the full acceptance of one's own truth. This is why there is so much discontentment in the world. So many people on medication. So many people depressed because no one is walking in their truth. The need for approval pollutes the wrong truth required to achieve greatness. Are you living life or is life living you? You see, a life not on fire is a life wasted. And when you pursue the flame with the intensity and truth, the warmth of it will remain loyal to you forever. Success is being comfortable in your own skin and owning that regardless of what other people think. So I ask you this question now, what is your truth? You need to ask this question to yourself all day long, no matter what you're doing in your relationships, what is my truth? In my job, what is my truth? In my spiritual connection with God, what is my truth? Whatever it is, it all has to come through that place, that mental space of truth. If you want to have greatness, relationships absent of truth remain lukewarm. If you want to reignite that friendship, that marriage, or that job, whatever it is, wrap it in truth and let that be the foundation that you build upon. That power needed to unlock doors of opportunity can only be found in that place of truth. The reason why so many of you out there listening to me right now are struggling is because you're trying to do in the physical what only spirit and truth can do. The fire of passion in a relationship thrives on oxygen, and that oxygen is being real. A deep connection is the fruit of authenticity. You want to bond with somebody? You want to bond with what you're doing? You want to bond with your work? Then be real! What you got to lose? You've tried everything else and it ain't worked. It ain't work because it will never work because truth is the only way that it does work. Success hinges so much on how we operate in our relationships. So I want to make this clear. Sometimes people in life are going to hurt you. It's natural to want to shut down emotionally to prevent ever having to experience that again. However, the level of greatness or success that you want to achieve hinges on the amount of truth that is flowing and functioning in your life. If you have shut down in your relationships, it will affect your work. If you have shut down truth in your work, it will affect your relationships. It always hinges on truth. You gotta stop chasing the trends, seeking followers, and getting your worth from social media likes. Just be yourself. Set yourself on fire with passion and the world will eventually come to you. People like you who are authentic, real, and willing to be vulnerable are rare. Be patient with people. Give them time to figure out just what a blessing you truly are. Stand in the middle of truth and refuse to move from it. See, the ones who have been assigned to you will eventually figure that out. Because you are beautiful, strong, and amazing, and you deserve the best that life has to offer, and you will only be able to access or tap into that by being in truth. Real and lasting relationships require both individuals to agree and commit to a standard of authenticity, compassion, and emotional vulnerability. To be equally yoked, all individual pride must die. All games must cease, and all conversations must be rooted in truth. With the natural urge to run from a difficult subject arises, that urge must be ignored and boldly faced head on. Each individual should strive to establish an un shake of a foundation of trust with the other for a relationship's potential and ceiling is always equivalent to it see the times where one seems to have an emotional advantage over the other the desire to personally capitalize or manipulate has to be shunned in exchange for protecting the partner's well-being you see relationships thrive on transparency which means all emotional walls must come down, all curtains must be pulled back, and all past transgressions must be remembered no more. Both parties should aggressively pursue sowing life over one another, building and uplifting each other's confidence and expressing sincere devotion towards one another. 
And by unleashing this truth, this honesty, cultivating a safe environment to be vulnerable, and seeking first to understand the other, no enemy of this relationship assembly can prevail. The fruit of the above dynamic is an intense connection, an all-consuming passion, and a deep, liberating love that surpasses all understanding. The unity and mental bond that is formed from consistently applying this selfless relationship standard is infinite and eternal. For those who have yet to experience this addictive drug personally, the best way to describe it is fire, truth, and music. Now that brings us to the third element. If you want to achieve massive success, if you want to taste greatness, then you need to filter everything you do, every thought, every word, every action through music. Now when I say music, I don't mean just physical music. Music is symbolic for creative expression. Music is vibration and everything in the universe is vibrating. Now let me tie all this together. Passion is an inexhaustible appetite to creatively express one's truth, what one is on the inside to the world. Be yourself and express that in creative ways. See, we disrespect God. We disrespect the spirit on the inside of us when we try to conform to what the world wants us to be. We are good enough as we are. God does not make mistakes and you are his masterpiece. Relationships are like music and you should never make music with anyone who doesn't understand, appreciate, or value your lyrics. Somebody who does not know their own self-worth is unqualified to enter into the presence of greatness. You are the grand composer. You are the director, the writer, the author, the producer of your life. You have this awesome, immense power on the inside of you to create any kind of life that you wish. Make your current life shine so bright that the world becomes blind to your past, that they no longer see who you were, but can only see the star that you have become. The world does not need another carbon copy of what already exists. What the world needs is you to be brave and bold enough to be who God designed you to be. The world has a love affair with the madness of genius. What the world calls crazy in the beginning, they will call beauty in the end. Ignore the choir of mediocrity. Greatness requires ignoring the urge inside to conform. When your dream is to go global, you have to distance yourself from the small minds that can only think local. Turn up the inner symphony of greatness and play only from that sheet music of originality that is blaring on the inside. Success is just finding original ways to package what is on the inside of you, that gift, that passion, that fire, packaging that up in creative ways and distributing that gift to the world in a way that they can receive it. We are all musicians singing, painting, expressing, radiating the truth and genius that God put on the inside of us. Refuse to water down or pollute your art with the thinking of the status quo. You are enough. Give them you raw and uncut. Are you brave enough to show the world who you are? To achieve greatness, one must starve themselves from the things that produce mediocrity. Your need to control things is what is controlling you. Successful people have confidence in themselves, believing that they can handle whatever life throws at them. This is why opportunities constantly flow towards them. Now I'm gonna say it again. Those who chase trends instead of pursuing their own truth disqualify themselves from greatness. Are you stretching? Are you growing? Greatness requires taking chances. Stop being scared, be you, and just go for it. The fire of doing your passion will cause blisters. But don't let that deter you from achieving greatness. Whether it's relationships or work-related, the burns are just part of it. In the end, it will be so worth it. Create your painting. Orchestrate your music. Design your life the way you wish to express who you are. Your work and your personal life should not be separate. They should all be one married, unified, together, fire, truth, music. This is Billy Osbrooks, and I am blessed and unstoppable. To God be the glory.